Thank you very much. He's 717. He's an engineer by education, a Wharton grad as well, but now he's wearing a lawmaker's coat. Senator Ted Kaufman is the man who is replacing Joe Biden, and he's here with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Glad to be here. We were talking to you, you know, off camera. Yeah. You're a longtime advisor to Joe Biden, a yeah. close friend. So we're going to talk about your relationship in just a moment. Sure. But first, we felt like we have to get to the news of the day. Everybody's okay. talking about this $900 yeah. dollar, billion dollar Biden, stimulus yeah. plan. Where do you weigh in on this? Especially because, you know, Jen mentioned you're yeah. a Wharton grad, right. so you're a businessman. Yeah. Nine hundred billion dollars? Too much wasteful spending? Are you okay with it? Well, we need. First off, we got a two trillion dollar problem here. Basically, this, the difference between what we should be producing in this country and what we are is basically two trillion dollars. So it's going to take a big number to kind of get it straightened out. So it's a nine hundred billion. I think most people believe is about the right number. But, you know, we're really early in the process now. I mean, the House passed a bill. The Senate's working on a bill. Hopefully we'll get that done this week. But then the House and Senate get together and they go to a conference. And that's where it's really going to get hammered out. That's where we're going to do this stuff. That's where we're going to get a bill that we really all can be proud of. But it's really the size of the bill, we really need this size of bill if we're going to get the economy going. The economy's kind of locked right now. I mean, if you were running a bank... You wouldn't want to lend any money right now because mm. you're worried. If you were an employer, would you want to hire new employees? We've got to get this, this fall in jobs, fall in house prices. We've got to get all that thing stopped. People got to have confidence again. So we made a big number to do it. However, Senator, a lot of people say, you know, uh, repaving ATV trails and right. resodding the lawn right. can wait. Yeah. Why not a huge tax cut? Well, because tax cuts aren't as good as the infrastructure. We need this about jobs. I mean, this is really, in my opinion. Now, there is a basic difference of opinion here. People kind of think that we're down in Washington playing some kind of bipartisan, partisan political game. This is the fault line that separates Republicans and Democrats. Basically, most Republicans, if you tell them we have this situation, they'll say tax cuts, mm -hmm. get things going. Most Democrats, you have this, they say this is jobs. We've got to get jobs. We've got to get unemployment compensation. We've got to take care of the people losing their jobs. So there is a fault line here. I think we're going to end up with a bipartisan bill because I think that we've got the president and the vice president who can make the deal happen. And I think people in Washington really understand this is important. I don't see as much partisan uh, kind of play here as much as people basically expressing their ideas. When you see the folks on the talk shows, you can tell Republicans kind of come at it one way, the yeah. Democrats come another. So we've got to get the two of them together, and I think that's what we're going to do in the end. Well, Jen just mentioned, you know, the all-terrain vehicle trails. We've right. got, you know, millions of dollars for right. government employee cars. Right. Where do you weigh in? We were talking with right. one of our reporters in D.C., and he was saying, you know, some people say any kind of spending, whether no, it's no, for no, polishing, no, no, whatever, no, 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 no. stimulates the economy. No. You don't agree no, that, with that? No, that's just not true. I mean, what we could do, I remember when I was at Wharton, one of the, we, had, we were talking about this, and one of the professors said, you know, you could take a helicopter, fly low over the country, and dump money out and have an effect. Right. So you so would take that money out then? No, Some of the oh, yeah. I, th I think what we have to do is take a hard look. Number one, the first thing has to be, is this something that is going to get jobs going, in my opinion? We got to get jobs going. We got to get people back investing in jobs. It's jobs, 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 jobs. So anything that goes to jobs. But there's some... Uh, some things that generate a lot more jobs than others. So we've got to go to the ones that generate the jobs. We've got to make sure we get the ones that start early. We've got to hit this thing right now. We're, we may only get one big shot at this thing. So it's jobs. It's get them early. And then the one thing, we have to have a little bit, there's a thing they call the tail. You know, like we've got to get this done right now, bang, get things stimulus. But we've got to have a tail on this thing. It's mm -hmm. got to go out. We've got to have something for a year to 18 months. Because if this thing works after a year, the economy will be kind of, if it was a patient, it'll be up maybe out of bed, mm -hmm. not in a coma anymore, but it's still going to be very weak. So you, if you just cut everything off at, at, a, at a year, then you might put the, put the patient right back in, in, in bed again and sick again. So it's got to do all those things. I think we'll hammer this thing out. The Senate's going to work on it this week. I think we'll do some good work there. But as I said, the key is going to be when we get to the Congress. And it's going to have to be trade-offs between what the Republicans want and what the Democrats want. Senator, we only have a... a a, bit of, a few seconds left, sure. but listen, you're Joe Biden's best friend. I was about to say, okay. <laughs> Do you have a secret so, line to the White House? Here's the thing. If he says something, if yeah. the administration yeah. says something, yeah. And you don't go for yeah. it. Are you going to be willing to look Joe Biden in the face and say, look, that's a great idea, yeah. pal, but I got to go with Wharton education yeah. and financial expertise. Jen, let me tell you something. If you know Joe Biden, one of the things he's always been is what he calls a Senate man. I was worked for him for yeah. 22 years. He's down there for 36 years. I worked him for 36 years. He's a Senate man. And by God, I'm a Senate man. <laughs> and I tell you what, I'm, I'm not looking forward to it, but sometime we're going to have a little, I mean, there's always a little healthy competition sure. here. Yeah. Sometimes something's going to come up. I I mean, I'm going to agree with Obama and, and Biden on most of this stuff. There's going to, something's going to come up that, you know, we, maybe we don't agree on. I'm going to try like the devil to win that one. Okay, good. All right. yeah, that's what we want to hear. And we're going to try like the devil to get you back here every uh, once in a while. Anytime. Senator Ted Coffey, nice to meet you. Great. Thank you for coming Thank in you. this morning. Thank you for having me. Okay.
All right, Tom, right now, 722. Well, did you watch the game last night? Oh, wow. You know, it was great. <laughs> and those Super Bowls are usually, you know, the high points, the guacamole and the dip. Right, exactly. That's exactly what it is. And for the sixth time oh. in their history, it's the Steelers. They're the Super Bowl champs.